Hey guys, I'm out in Gap Tallard at the moment. It's a beautiful day. It's slightly misleading though. Uh, we're not actually flying today. We're in a little bit of a, a, a patch of, of beautiful blue sky, um, but there's a lot of thick cloud around. So Mark, whose gyrocopter is behind me, has said he, he's not, it doesn't, we, it's not really a flyable day uh, because it's, um, we don't want to get caught out. We could just do some circuits, but that's really a waste of our time. We, we don't want to do that. Um, but we managed to get an amazing flight in yesterday. And luckily I had some of the GoPros and got a little bit of footage. So I'll share that with you. But I thought, well, whilst we're here and it's such a nice day, and I have never flown, well, until yesterday, I'd never flown another aircraft apart from my Magni gyrocopter. So we've got a French built DTA gyrocopter. And I was very lucky, I was able to fly it yesterday with Mark. And, um, you know, whilst I'm not massively experienced, um, I was able to sort of get a bit of a feel for the differences and things. So I thought whilst we've got, it's, it is actually quite nice at the moment, but we've pulled the aircraft out. I'll take you on a little bit of a tour and we'll have a little bit of a look around it. So let's go and do that. So to get in, we just undo these hatches here. Uh. Try and get into the camera. So this is a, unlike the Magni uh, M24, which is side by side, this is a little bit like the Calidus. It's uh, in line. Um, so it was quite good flying it yesterday. I'll, let me give you a little bit of a, a talk through this. So we've got our instrument panel up here. We've got our Rotax. Uh, this will show us our engine RPM, temperatures and things, oil pressures, etc. We've got our airspeed up here, our transponder here, and our radio up here. Fuel gauge here, fuel pressure, uh, rotor RPM, an altimeter, a compass, and various fuel pumps and uh, main switches and lights down here. But ultimately, it flies. You know, it flies quite nicely, really. One of the main things that I noticed yesterday flying this, it was actually fairly smooth, but you can't take your hand off the stick. With my Magni, once that's trimmed, you can just take your hands off and it's very, very smooth. It will just, as, as long as there's no wind around and you're not being blown all over the place, it's a very smooth aircraft. You can just take your hands off and, and it will fly straight and level. Whereas this is, it was quite smooth, but you were not able to take your hands off. It would drift away. Um, but that's okay. It was quite quiet, obviously, with it being a, a closed cockpit, and you wear the what we've got up behind me. Look, so it's it's a very and it, these are like noise reduction. Uh, I don't think they're Bose actually, but they're they're very similar to a Bose headset. Um, so the environment is is different to my open cockpit um, Magni where it's a bit louder, there's a lot more wind, but you can't really compare the two because they're two, they're two different aircraft. So let's take a look at the exterior. So this aircraft runs a Rotex 914S, so it's turbocharged and uh, is, is basically exactly the same engine that I have on my uh, Magni. Pumps out about 115 horsepower, so it's pretty powerful. I'm guessing there's a little bit more weight uh, associated with this aircraft because there's a lot more sort of fairing than, than there is on my aircraft. But again, the, you know, it just, it's just one of the differences. One of the things that I did notice um, yesterday was the trim uh, to spin up the rotors. 
um, sorry, the, not the trim, sorry, the pre-rotator uh, is slightly different. This is pneumatic, so you literally just press a red button and it starts spinning up, whereas on my uh, aircraft, it's cable operated and you, you pull like a brake lever that's sort of attached to the stick. Uh, so that was a slight uh, difference, but overall, it's very similar, really, if you can fly one gyrocopter. Uh, the modern ones are, I think, I think are fairly easy to fly now. So I need to say a massive thank you to Mark because Mark is a great pilot. He has he runs a school out here uh, in Gap Talard. So if you ever want to come out to Gap and do some mountain flying, you need to speak to Mark. I'll put Mark's details in the description or in the in the links below. So if you want to contact him, he speaks great English and he's a very very friendly guy, and he's very very patient with me because I ask lots of questions. So he's great to fly with. He has loads of experience. So if you want to come out here and do some mountain flying and trust me it's very very different to anything back home in the UK and if you can fly out here you can fly anywhere in the world that's why I'm out here trying to sort of hone my skills a bit for the up-and-coming project um, so thank you for having me Mark it's been Please. great <laughs> Please. it was very agreeable with you to show you how mountains yeah we had fun you know we love how mountains because uh, it's a nice place to flight yeah yeah, yeah. brilliant <laughs> brilliant yes. see he speaks perfect yes. english and he's a great guy not very well <laughs> no no you do you do trust me all right guys